All right, guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to talk about that screen right there. All right, guys, a lot of y'all have asked for this, and I promised I'd make a video on it, so here it is. Uh, this wallpaper, you can change it on the Sync 2. I'm not sure about Sync 3 or 1 or any of the new Sync 4s, but on Sync 2, you can change the background on here. You just have to download images. The only requirement is it has to be no more than 800 pixels horizontal and no more than 384 pixels vertically okay and then the actual amount of space can't be more the sorry the image size cannot be more than 1.5 megapixels i'm sorry megabytes 1.5 megabytes okay so <clears throat> it's all done through a flash drive i use this little cruiser one because it's small compact and this one i think is an eight yeah eight gig back in here <clears throat> all right so now you can go into settings wallpaper and add it wants to make sure you have the right size images see no more than 32 photos the right size I and mean, it tells you everything right here hit okay now, I have it saved under wallpapers. Bro, come on. Did I click on the wrong one? Wallpapers. There it is. So, it doesn't show you images on here. You have to download it first. I have plenty of them saved on here, too. Um, download them first, and then you'll be able to see them on here default cool all right let's get on the computer and find some nice backgrounds and then i'll show you the easiest way to size them all right so now let's start looking for some pictures or grabbing your own pictures you might already have okay so I put this here so we don't forget. The maximum width is 800 pixels in width and the maximum height is 384 pixels in height. I tried 385, it didn't work. It didn't allow it. So it has to be maximum 384. If you go too short, then it, it's gonna distort it a little bit. And if you go too uh, slim here, it also it's also gonna distort the image a little bit. So you want to get to as close as you can to 800 and as close as you can to 384, okay? The other thing is it can't be more than 1.8 megapixels, which typically that is not going to be more than that, all right? I'm going to just go look for some free pictures on Google. And keep in mind, guys, a lot of the images that are on Google are copyrighted, so you can't really share them and you do what you want to do with your images you have, but they are copyrighted. But if you go to like free images free stock images let's say let's go down some let's try this unsplash free usable images all right and you can actually search also so let's just search forward see what comes up that's cool that's nice. Uh, let's try this. I know a lot of y'all like this. We're going to right click on here and just copy the image. And then I like to use paint. So I'm going to do a search here for P A I N T. And then we're going to just paste the image on here. All right, so you can see here on the bottom, it tells you this is 1,009 pixels wide and 700 pixels tall. You can just grab the image now and just pick it up some because we know it's not going to be that tall there. All right, and we're going to go ahead and grab this. You want to start with a good rectangular image. Okay, then we can actually select all. 
So you have a whole image selected and we're going to resize to 800 and it'll automatically set the bottom one to match the exact size that it is, right? So this would be 800 by 401, which is fine. 401. See how I made it smaller? We're going to go ahead and cut this and bring this back over here to make it right there. Maybe just a little bit more because it can't be anything more than 800. Oh, come on. All right. 798 you can see now 401 also is the bottom pixel make sure you don't have the picture selected you're just clicking on the outside edge of the frame and we're gonna go up to 84 all right full image is there we're gonna hit file save as Let's start a new file, uh, new folder, and sync. Let's do sync background. All right. We're going to call this wrap door. All right, cool. So we got one done. Let's see what else is out here. I'm going to X out here. Let's go ahead and do this one also. Let's see if we can just copy from here instead of opening it up. And we already have paint open, so we can just put it back in here and paste. Now oh, this one's too short. Uh, that's not going to be good. So the problem is if you try to resize this, the pixels to 800 and hit OK. It kind of distorts it some. It's not horrible. It's not going to look really, really that bad, but it does distort it some, you can tell. So I'm just not going to do that. I'd rather really just find something else. That's a cool old truck right there. Click. Copy. This is from Berlin. Interesting. Okay, let's see how this looks. Paste. All right, that's a good one. So we're going to resize it. So you see the, the whole picture has a dotted line. So it's whole. It's touch. It's actually grabbing the whole picture, right? I'm gonna resize it again to pixels. A Hundred. All right, so that's the perfect width. Now I can't use this height, but you see, I can still grab the picture and just pick the picture up some. Or maybe I don't need the full board to come out. And see, this says it's one thousand by seven hundred. That's the whole thing. That's including the white space here. So we can. Go ahead and resize this. So stop right there. It's actually 803, but I could squeeze that in a little bit still. And this one needs to go up to. I'm gonna cut a lot. I'd rather cut the bottom part of the truck than the top. So if you get exactly 284, it's perfect. It's easier with a little mouse. Perfect. All right, we're going to go File. We're going to go Save As. And we're going to type in Patina. Save. All right, we got two saved. Now, let's see. When you mean. Like I said, you can do this with any pictures, any kind of pictures you have. So let's open up some pictures. All right, so if you have any pictures, or you can just, let's do any pictures of yours. Let's just do this picture here, same thing. Let's open it with paint. 
I'm going to resize this. Now, this is going to be a big file to resize. Pixels. Let's just save it straight into wallpapers. And I like calling these my type so I know it's the exact size. Save. All right. Now the other ones that we had saved, they are in pictures and sync backgrounds. So what we can do is choose both of these and then drag them over to here. Right there under wallpaper. Yeah. So it's in here. So now there's exit. Go try it out. Right, we're going to go back in here and download the pictures we just did. Add. Okay. USB. Wallpapers. Saving and patina and vector. All right, now let's see if they're in here. So it'll automatically remove some of the ones that are older. So let's do patina, save, go home, there it is. Let's do vector, save. There it is. Let me just try one more. Kayak, save. There it is. All right. Tell me what images you like on your backgrounds. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos I got too. I am working on another port scan video on OBD2 port adapters. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see when that comes out.